I am a dude playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. This is mission 19 of my Nero and Dante, Dante Must Die Difficulty, Video Guide. We're back onto Nero missions. Kind of happy. So boss rush. As I've said in a previous video, I love boss rushes. I think they're great. And Nero is the sort of character where it's quite it feels quite satisfying to be able to fight all the bosses in a row like this. I mean, it would be satisfying as any character. Like, it's kind of alright as Virgil, but Virgil's just supremely broken, makes it kind of trivial. Dante, it could be a lot of fun, but again, you'd have to be, like, really good to make it really satisfying. Whereas, like, I, I like this mission. It's I think it's super, super cool. Just because, like, you finally get back to this character, which the player is definitely more comfortable with, right? Unless they're a DMC veteran. And this was kind of aimed at a lot of those who weren't, like, because, you know, Dante wasn't the main character. You find, they're finding back to this character they're happy with, they're comfortable with. They get to fight an easy boss and it slowly builds up and builds up. And it's just such a nice, cool mission. And it would be so great if this was the last mission and it would just end it on such a high note. I discussed in a previous video, I think it was like mission 7, if I remember rightly, that um, you can manipulate the dice by hitting it when the right number is on top that you want. But I said also that on this mission, I can never seem to get that to work. And I don't know if that's because I'm bad or if it just doesn't work on Dante Must Die or whatever. So we're gonna see if, we're gonna see what I'm capable of. Probably not a lot. One, two, three, four, right, so one, four. So that was a four, right? And I got a two, what the fuck? Two doesn't even come after four, it was horse shit. <laughs> Uh, if you're going for the S rank on this, you do not want the blue platforms. Um, this isn't really an S rank guide, but I feel like I should mention it. You do not want the blue platforms. You want to either get onto the purple or the reds. Um, I guess uh, yellows are fine too, of course. Right, so we want two. Oh, so two is after four, so maybe you just got to be really snappy. What? What? That's not right. Surely. See what I mean? I just... I think it's this mission. I genuinely think it might just be this mission. Because last time I got across that entire board just fine. And it wasn't a problem. But... hey -ho. All Alright, so I'm going to go for a 1 this time. 5-1. Okay, no. Okay, so it's just... It's just random, I think. Because so I went for... In between 5 and 1... And I either get a 5 or a 1, depending on if I messed up or not. There's no way I get a 2 there, so it is just random, it seems. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, unless there's something I don't know. Like, I'm fully prepared to accept that there's something I don't know. 1, really? Man, I'm going to have to edit out all the dice rolling unless there's fighting. Because <laughs> this mission can go on a while with this. But I don't mind that. I think it's kind of cool. Like, it is a bit long. And I definitely prefer the way Devil May Cry 3 did their boss rush. Because in Devil May Cry 3, um, what happened was it was like... I think, like, the lore is that you're in some sort of overworld or something. Like, underworld. Something to that effect. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be. But, um... Oh, fuck. Whoops. Fuck you. But yeah, it's meant to be in some sort of, like, overworld or something, or underworld, or something to that effect, right? And... Fuck. Okay. It's meant to be, like, some sort of underworld, and you've got a bunch of these little gravestony, platformy, pillory type things, and it's a little maze, and the maze itself is actually kind of cool. Um, and... It made it quite obvious what boss was in behind that. So what you'd, you'd go up to it and you'd interact with it like any other object. And you would just pick a boss. And then whenever you beat a boss, there was this central thing, like plaque almost, that when you beat a boss, its respective gem would light up. Now, you had to light up enough gems to form a circle. I think the minimum amount you could do was three, but if you wanted to, you could do them all. And if I remember rightly, on the HD collection, um, there was an achievement for doing them all. And it was so much fun, because not only did you get to pick your boss, you get to pick your challenge, but you didn't have to worry about, like, you had a couple of fights beforehand, but you didn't have this dice stuff. But in the same light, I don't mind this dice stuff, because, I mean, the whole point of it, is to create a challenge, right? It's like, you know, you're probably going to have some fights on the way and stuff like that. And I think that's just fine. Like, it's... 
achieves what it wants to, right? Hey, there we go. See, it did say one on the top end there, right? Or did it just change? I can't tell. I have to look back on the recording and see. But I just cannot fathom what the device is doing. Ah, damn. I need to warm up again as Nero. Damn. You can reflect that back just by doing a streak. Um, oh, fuck. I need to warm up again as Nero, man. Like, just because he's not hard doesn't mean you don't have to warm up as him. Okay, there we go. Boom. Charge shot. I think I definitely prefer playing Dante, but... It's nice to have a bit of brain-dead fun once in a while, you know? Damn. Fuck you. So I wonder what my Dante performance was actually like. Like, I think I did all right, but I'm well aware that I am just not the best Dante player. But in the same light, I think I... I did some cool stuff, right? Like, especially in the last mission. Like, I had those nice royal guards on the Savior. I had some really good moments, I feel. And I think that's fine. Cry out loud. I kind of, I kind of regret going to Nero already. <laughs> kind of want to go back to Dante. I'm staying quiet on those loading screens, and that is purely because um, I get an encoding overload when the game loads cutscenes and stuff. And loading up these new areas seems to take quite a bit of processing power, so that's the only reason why. Because uh, if I talk, I just get little... I, it just gets a bit jumpy anyway. I've learned a lot about my recording setup. And actually, I'll tell that story. That's a fun story. So I wanted to get an upgrade to my system, right? I just want to get a better PC. I want to get something new, something powerful, something that can really perform. Ah, oh, I thought I did high roller then. Um, and so I message PC World, right? Like I look for some stuff. I find something in PC World. I want to get something brand new. I just want to get a new setup, right? And so I messaged PC World. I'm like, you know, yo, I, 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 know, I know a bit about computers, but I'm no expert, right? Like, I've got a rough idea of what stuff can do from its specs, and I can, like, say certain stuff with absolutes. But, you know, I'm spending a lot of money here, and I would rather, like, guarantee that I'm getting my money's worth, right? Sorry, got to stay silent during those loading <laughs> cutscenes. Um, so... I'm messaging them, like, you know, I want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth. I want to make sure it's going to do what it wants to. So I say to them, you know, can this play, like, newer games? Because, oh, damn. How did I still take damage there? I was definitely devil triggered in time. Fuck off. <laughs> um, so I message them, and I'm saying, you know, can this record these games at this quality? Can it play all these games as well? And they say, yes, it's designed to play most AAA games out today. And that's all they said. So I'm like, brilliant. By the way, you didn't answer my question. I asked you if I could record. Not just play, record. And do you know what the funny thing is? So the thing I'm like looking at, it's a £500 piece of kit, right? And not to mention, I would need a... A screen for it as well so i'm looking at maybe about a grand reasonably speaking for the first one they said they would that would be up to five days oh, i forgot i had to just run from that they said it'd be up to five days cool you should be dead and i'm just there like really i'm looking spend a grand and you're gonna tell me to wait five fucking days and then they get back to me after two or three and they don't answer my fucking question what kind of shit is that? <laughs> Sorry to go silent there. It's just because of the encoding overload. I think I'll just edit out the loading screens, actually. Like, there's no reason to leave them in if I'm not talking over it anyway. Um, so now I'm still waiting on a response from fucking PC World. I'm debating just going elsewhere because I don't want to be, as a paying customer who's paying quite a lot of money, potentially, to be waiting around forever. But I don't know. Uh, it feels good to be able to play boss against bosses again as Nero, because the game really was designed around him. Oh yeah. So, 
I don't have any tips for this level. Like, the tips are all just going to be... Like, the tips I gave at the times of these respective boss fights. Like, there is just nothing I can say that I haven't already said. It really is just about being good. Not taking so many hits. Like that. <laughs> Damn. Ugh. But yeah, like, tell me what you think of that. I think that's a fucking piss take, man. Like, if someone's looking to spend that much money, first of all, you don't answer the fucking question they asked, right? Okay, I get that. Maybe you misread it, sure. But it's a customer who's going to be waiting multiple days who's saying, I want to spend my money at your company, and it's a damn lot of money at that. I think that's a fucking piss take myself. Oh, I cancelled my charge shot animation. Did I get a stun? That's sad. Oh, I got it. Damn, I don't have Devil Trigger up now, though. Fuck, that sucks. But yeah, I'm hoping to get an upgrade to my kit. I want to get a, um... I want to be able to, like, you know, record videos in, like, 1080p and shit. I mean, I technically can with this, but not every game. Like, it's just not powerful enough to record this at, like, super high quality. And, and play it at the same time. Oh, I actually got the iframes for that. <laughs> Fuck. I thought I got a hit there. But yeah, I have no tips for this level. Like, maybe if there's a trick to the dice that I don't know. <clears throat> you know, the one thing that I do not miss about playing Nero was charging for charge shot constantly. <laughs> Reminds me of Devil May Cry 3 when, like... I was doing Bloody Palace in Devil May Cry 3, right? And anyone who's played Devil May Cry 3 knows that that is fucking brutal. Like, the Bloody Palace of Devil May Cry 3 is evil. Absolutely evil. It's so hard. And fatigue was probably going to kill you more likely than the enemies. And, wow, I've been really lucky with these dice rolls, actually. But yeah, fatigue is probably going to kill you rather than the enemies. And I just remember, like, my fingers getting tired... But yeah, fatigue is going to kill you more likely than the enemies. And it's... I remember, like, his... I remember just my fingers being sore because... Just from, like, mashing summon swords because I didn't want it to take too long. Because I was going to tire out, you know? But Devil May Cry 3's Bloody Palace is great. For those who haven't played it, those who don't know, the way it works is it works the same way as a Devil May Cry 4 Bloody Palace, which is, you know, it's a bunch of flaws with enemies that you have to fight. It's a it's not a predetermined challenge like it is in 4, but it's basically a survival gauntlet, same way. But the difference is, is that after each floor, three portals would pop up. You get a water portal, which takes you up one floor, and it restores a chunk of your health. I don't know the exact amount, but it restores a good chunk of your health. There's an electric portal, which takes you up 10 floors, and it restores a bit of Devil Trigger. And then you have a fire portal, which restores absolutely nothing, and it takes you up 100 floors. Now, the Bloody Palace is in Devil May Cry 3 is 10,000 floors, which means that, in theory, if you only ever take the fire portal... You will... It will effectively be 100 floors. But that is such a cool, good design. Because if you have a bad floor, right? And anyone can have a bad floor, right? Anyone can perform badly every now and then, right? I bet even the best players in the world have probably failed to, like... Like, even Don Guri and shit, I bet, has probably failed to mission 14 in this game, for example. Like, I reckon that's something that has happened. Just because we are imperfect. We are human. Sorry if there's odd little jumps, that's just going to be for me editing out the uh, loading screens, because I can't talk during it because it lags, and I, can't, and I can't show you anything on the screen because it's a loading screen. So yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, as I was saying, we are imperfect and we are human, and so the Devil May Cry 3 Bloody Palace doesn't punish you for having like one bad floor and ruining the rest of your run. What it does is it lets you, it says, hey, you can't progress very far, but now you have more health and you have another stab at doing well and then progressing onwards. And I've been so lucky with these dice rolls, Jesus. 
But yeah, it just says, you know, here, you don't immediately lose your run to one bad floor, but you don't get to progress very far without earning it. You have to earn your right to progress. And that's really cool. That's like the best design ever. Whereas the Devil May Cry 4 Bloody Palace is good. The way the, bloody, the, the Devil May Cry 4 one works, again, for those who don't know, and I apologize for those of you who do, um, it's 100 floors flat, and you have a final boss on the 101st. And what it does is there's a timer. You start off with just two minutes, right? Which is completely ridiculous for 100 floors. So the way it works is you gain more time per enemy you kill. And the more style ranking you have, so for example, if I only have a C rank, I don't get that much time. If I have an S rank, I get a lot more time from killing these enemies. And... Ah, oh, I fucked up there. Sorry, I'm just concentrating here. Man. I should have done one on the ground there. Damn. This attack is hard to deal with as Nero. Oh, I did it. And we got him, I think. No, I got stunned. Nice, got him. Um, but yeah, you're on a timer. You build up time by clearing the floors. And the problem with it is, is whilst it does give you like rest and relaxation floors, for example, there's enemies designed to just give you health, right? There's Chimera Seeds, and I think they always drop health. And at the end of a stage, sometimes they'll just drop three of them on you, and you'll restore a ch health that way. Now, that's cool. But the thing is... But the thing is... Sorry, I got an encoding overload then. Um, the thing is, it's not the same as Devil May Cry 3. Because in Devil May Cry 3, you didn't get to low health on one random ass floor because you had, like, a bad moment. And I don't think the player should be heavily punished for a bad moment in a game like this. Um, I mean, it, depending on exactly where you are in the game. But for the Bloody Palace, like, it's already a gauntlet. It's already a test of endurance. And one little mistake or one bad floor shouldn't punish you for the rest of the run. Devil May Cry 3 said, here, have another shot. But it didn't restore your life to full. So if you weren't consistently doing well, you would not pass it. Whereas in Devil May Cry 4, the Bloody Palace, if you have a bad floor, that can have drastic repercussions for the rest of the rest of the floor, uh, rest of the Bloody Palace. And it's awful in that regard. But it is still a fun challenge. I'm a sucker for survival modes like that. So, oh. so that's the end of the mission. I don't know how I managed to ramble that long. <laughs> One thing I've gotten good at from this little guide here is I've definitely gotten better at just talking shit and rambling. <laughs> Not, I wouldn't say it's an easy mission, but I wouldn't say it's a hard mission. It's one that it completely scales with skill, as most of the game does. But, like... It's one of those where if you know what you're doing and you're comfortable with the character, you'll do well. But this is another thing that really gets on my nerves. Why can't you play through that mission as Dante? Why can't you play through that mission as Lady or Trish, whichever of the two you don't play through this mission as? Why not? That'd be such a cool mission to play through as Dante. Like, tell me I'm wrong. You know I'm right. You know, it'd be so cool. And they just don't do it. <laughs> Sad. And there we have it. I actually got the S rank, so I don't think you actually need the red plant. I did get a few, so I guess maybe it was necessary. Um, orbs found. I guess it doesn't matter with the blue platforms. I remember that mattering, but I guess I'm just mistaken. So yeah, you should get pretty much near 100% orbs then, as long as you run around in circles and collect enough of the ones that fall. You would need an excessive amount of blue platforms, because the way the orbs found works, I believe, is it's based off the amount of potential orbs you could have gotten. I remember someone saying that if you didn't enter a room, it didn't count those orbs that were in the breakables and whatnot, but I don't know if that's true. I can't confirm. But yeah, if you pass that mission, you probably will get an S rank. I think the clear time, I think you have a huge margin for it because it's luck based. Uh, unless there's like, unless the dice trick is consistent and I'm just doing it wrong and I'm bad. But yeah, but that'd be such a cool mission to play for us, Dante. Ugh. <laughs> 
I hope you enjoyed. It was great to play as Nero again, actually, despite having to hold charge shot constantly. <laughs> um, we're going to do a sucky mission next, but I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.